Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Alvaron and today we are back in Valheim for another seed discovery video. This particular seed has all of the things you've come, become accustomed to from my channel. It's got the Maypole, it's got pretty good boss locations, and overall it's just a really solid seed. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. Also, before we get going too far into the video, I wanted to let you know that I am working on a new microphone. I understand some of the audio quality has not been up to par lately. Just remember, I am a pretty casual gamer slash YouTuber. I don't do this for any income or anything, just for my love of gaming. But I am working on it, so bear with me. And I appreciate your feedback. For those of you who um, have let me know that you know the uh, voice quality or the mic quality isn't great, I appreciate that. And in the future, don't be bashful about letting me know if there's things that I can do to improve. Anyways, to the seed. So here's the maypole. Um, nice little location, you're right on the water. And you'll see that this opens up to the ocean. We'll take a look at the Valheim seed map seed generator in a minute. Um, not a bad little location. Not a whole lot of assets here, though, for you to work with. You've got one little building here that you could probably build up. Um, you can see you've got a five stone former portal hub over there which is great i love those those are indestructible rocks right there so that could be a feature of your base depending on what you choose to do um and you, you open up to a pretty decent plane um not plane a meadow right now you've got a couple of buildings there's one up there in the back there's a little village over here not too shabby but it's opened up to a little bit of black forest over there but the other thing that we have here is if we just tuck around this corner a little bit. Here's a boar stone. So that's nice. Um, definitely makes this a little bit more attractive of a location. Um, you can pen them right there or you can make this a big boar pen right here. Pull them right over and be good to go. Um, this location in and of itself is decent. You know, I like the aesthetic. I like the open. I don't like a whole bunch of forest around. And I've got water resources right here where I can just sail. Now, you do have a little bit of swamp over there as well. And we'll see in the uh, map generator, that's actually not a bad little swamp location. So you've got pretty good access to some other biomes right from the start here when you get to this maple. Now, that's not a huge swamp, okay? However, it's going to have some leeches, it's going to have some draugr, it's going to have some things that you can farm up fairly early. And of course, over here, you've got this little village, which is great. And there's some black forest over there. Not a lot, but a, but a little bit. Okay, so let's get back to our maypole and we'll take a look at the actual spawn in relation to where we're at. The spawn is over here. You're going to have to fly over and get into cheat mode. Okay. Um, you're going to go, there's a little bit of mountain here, but here is where the maypole is located, okay? Um, it's deceptive in terms of it looks like it's just bogged in with this area right here. That's open. That's that little island right there, okay? I um, mean, you can see what, what the map... So what happens is what, when you see this little gray area like that, that means that it's actually shallows, okay? So just so you know... Um, but not too bad. It, you know, again, you're going to have to get over here. That's going to be on you how you want to do it. Once you get here, this is a great place to set up a base location. But let's take a look at the C generator map. Where are we? Nope, that's not where we are. <laughs> let's try again. The Valheim world generator. Here we are. Um, you can run to this, by the way. Um, it's a fairly good size little starter island. Okay, here's your spawn. Um, and you can see it goes all the way up here. Um, Here's the uh, maypole, okay? And here's that big swamp, that swamp. Now we just saw a corner of it. It's actually bigger than um, I kind of let on. But then you've got, it's connected up here as well. So you're really, you've got pretty good access to multiple different uh, 
biomes here, which is solid. But anyways, you can run to this maypole. It's going to be a long haul. You'll get there. Um, there's some dark black forest you're going to have to traverse early in the game. That's not so easy for everybody. Okay. But overall, it's not bad. Uh, here, here we are right on the ocean. Again, it doesn't appear that it's right on the ocean, but you were just there. You saw it. It, it really is pretty damn close to the water. Um, you'll be fine. And then, of course, you can sail out to the north. I don't know that you can get down here, though. Okay, so you're going to have to sail up here to the north, and you're actually fairly limited. But you can come around and then come down if you want to do a lot of sailing. Well, let's take a look at the bosses. This is where things get a little bit better for us. Um, if we look, we've got an elder and a bone mass. Okay, so the first, I call it the 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 beginning to mid game, beginning of mid game, you've got Ichthyr, Elder, and Bone Mass all in a row right here. They're very close by. That's fantastic. That's really good. Um, you're going to be able to just kind of get those, bang those out of the way quickly. You've got Motor and Yagloth right up here. And the Queen, unfortunately, is over here. Now, it would be fantastic if there was a Queen up here, but you're heading north. And the good news is, is you can run to all of these. The first five bosses you can run to. You've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Remember, you can run up this way. You're gonna have to go through the plains, which is a major pain in the pain in the butt. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna say ass. It's a pain in the ass too. <laughs> but um, you you can't get up there. However, what's likely going to happen is, is you're gonna you're gonna get to bone mash. You're gonna get through. You know that the swamp and you're going to have a boat built okay and you'll be able to sail up here and you know i'd probably i don't know if i'd go all the way around but i may land here and then just get into the mountains now this is a fairly good sized mountain biome however the bad news is there's lots of planes around it and you know planes is 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 fairly tough if you get a death mosquito uh, and you don't handle it correctly, you can ruin your day, okay? Um, what I'm thinking, though, is, is these are the two uh, endgame bosses I'm going to uh, farm up. And, of course, there's always the queen, which we'll have to deal with. But as you'll see as we expand on our look into the seed, these are actually very good biomes as well. It's not just decent boss locations. Let's take a look at the traders. More good news for us. Um, We've got three Haldors that we can run to, okay? Um, you've got one over here, one here, and one up here. Um, it's likely you're probably going to grab one of these two because they're the closest. The Hildur, we have to kind of fade out a little bit. We've got one over here, which isn't horrible. However, how are you going to get there, right? You're going to cross the plains, drop a boat in the water, and then sail? You could do that. But I wouldn't recommend you doing that when you're at the elder level or until you've finished it minimally the swamp. Um, you've got a Hilder over here, which actually isn't bad. But again, um, if you're sailing, that means you're going to have to come all the way up and down, which isn't horrible. But, you know, again, I'd be setting up a portal over here to get to her. But the Haldor is fairly close and it's within running distance. So it, for traders, it's it's not horrible i've seen them a lot worse i've seen them a lot better this one's kind of right in the middle you've got a good haldor location that you can pick from but the hildur you're gonna have to do a little work to get over there it is what it is let's take a look at the biomes now what we want to do is is we want to see really good biomes by the bosses so around the bone mass we want to see a lot of sunken crypts Around the motor, we want to see a lot of uh, eggs, and we want to see a lot of frost crypts. And around Yagloth, we want to see a lot of goblin camps. So let's get into that. Let's look at tombs and crypts first. Um, you're going to have plenty of black forest crypts over here by Elder. That's fine. Um, you know, you can probably build something over here, a little base. You can just farm up the Black Forest. I haven't gone and examined this myself. I'm willing to bet that this is a very, very thorough and flushed out, fleshed out uh, Black Forest area, meaning there's the Elder, there's crypts around here, there's probably spawners to get your seed. I'm will seeds, I'm willing to bet there's plenty of, um, uh, what is it, uh, copper. Okay, and then right up here, 
You've got one. I'm willing to bet all along this coast you'd be able to find plenty of tin. So I'm not too worried about the black forest. There's also a whole bunch down here as well. You'd be fine. Now, for this bone mass, it's not great. We don't have a lot of sunken crypts. However, we have sunken crypts fairly close to our Maypole location, where, is, where we're going to build. Now, you're going to have to run in there a little bit, but, you know, in this little area right here, there's a clump of five of them. Now, remember, this map is a little bit deceptive. The map is bigger than what actually appears in the game, meaning that this, you saw with this island, the distance from this island and the, over here especially wasn't that great you know there's a there's a shallow right here and so this this map while accurate tends to space things out a little bit more than what's actually happening in the game irregardless of that you're still gonna have to get over into this biome into the swamp to get at them but normally what we want to see is we want to see the sunken crypts around bone mass and we don't um so not great but Alternatively, we have another swamp close by, which kind of makes up for that. So, not horrible. Let's get to the motor location, take a look at our frost caves and tetra lakes and the dragon egg. So, we're down here. We're going to need to get up here, okay? We've already talked about ways to do that. This particular mountain biome isn't horrible you've got six frost caves around up here you've got three near the motor which is okay i'd like to see more of them around that motor but um it really you know how much do you need to pull out of the frost caves for your playthrough uh, i don't know for me i don't really need that much three would be sufficient for me you've got a couple more down here if you need it there's one right here very close to your maypole location It'd be great if there were one here or one a couple over here, but there isn't. Um, again, not super strong, not horrible. This is a decent motor location. Let's take a look at Tetra Lakes real quick. There's one here. That's one of the things that you're going for, so that's a positive. And dragon eggs. There's plenty of dragon eggs around this motor location, and there's some even down here. Um, overall, this is a fairly solid motor it would just be nice if there were a couple more frost caves by the actual boss spawn let's take a look at this yagloth in this plains location so we're going to look at the totem camps okay um it's not bad you need five totems to get yagloth to spawn okay first of all you're down here now you can run up this way you've got plenty of totems right here or you've got plenty around the Yagloth here, and you've got an elder up here as well, if you so want to do that elder. Um, this is actually pretty good. It's not often that the, the totem camps are extremely close to Yagloth. You usually get two or three near him, or her, <laughs> I don't know. And then they're spread out all over. This is actually fairly concentrated. This is pretty good uh, for Yagloth. I think that's a that's a solid plains location right there. Let's take a look at tar pits for your aesthetic build, which is to gives you the tiled roofs. Plenty of tar down here, which you can run to, you know, just do a once you get to this level, you're ready to handle the plains, just just do a farming run and run up here. Or if you've set up a portal somewhere around Yagloth, you know, perhaps you built the base up here because you got motor as well. Um, just run up and farm them. You should be fine. Now, we have to talk about the queen. The queen is probably the weakest part of this. Now, again, I'm forecasting you're going to go north. That's how I'm going to go because I always build around a maypole. That's just my personal preference. You do whatever you want. You can go south. There's a couple of bosses here. And then there's a queen. You can go to the, to the east. Okay, now... This queen is probably going to be a little bit more accessible than the one to the north. However, you're going to have to get down here. And this maypole is landlock north facing, meaning to the south, you don't have a way to get down down here. Okay, you're going to have to go up and around. All right, it would be great if there, this was just a strip of open ocean that you could sail down here and then you could sail with the queen. We don't have that. 
So for this presentation, I'm going to present for this queen over here because it's probably the best option. My justification for that is, is you're probably going to build something up here because you've got two bosses, Moto and Yagleth, that you're going to do. You're heading north anyways as a progression from your Maypole to the Elder to Bone Mass. Again, you know, you, you can do whatever you want. You do have a Yagleth motor and queen over here, but you're going to have to get over there. This is fairly congested. There's not a lot of open ocean here. Okay, these are the, this is a fairly um, compressed map in terms of land. So we're going to have to pick. Now, the problem is, is how are you going to get over there even if you sail? All right, so you're probably going to... Let's say you build something up here. Build build a build a port, drop a boat down, boom, you're right here. You still have to get over to this queen. Okay? Um, then you still have to get over to this queen, which we know is north locked. This this maypole is locked to the north. And then there's queens over here. The the big negative for this seed is the queen locations. Okay. I personally, I don't like the mislands at all. I understand it's part of the game, and to complete the game, you must defeat the queen. Current iteration, you know, eventually we'll get the Ashlands, and queen will um, just be yet another boss. But right now, that is the end game. I don't like the mislands. I know it has mis mixed reviews. You do you. I'm just telling you right off the bat, the mist lands in this game and the queen location are not good. However, we're going to do our uh, presentation based on this queen location here. And around there, we're going to see that we've got a decent amount of resources here. Now, obviously, you've got this whole area here and this whole area here. You, you, there's plenty of resources over to the, to the northwest here of where our Maypole location is, okay? I don't know how the hell you're gonna get over here, but one of the things that I look for is, is I've got other biomes here and I've got Black Forest, which is cool, because the hope is that we find a troll cave over here, and we do. And we have a troll cave right here. Now, why is that important? Because what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to get to this troll cave. I'm going to enclose the front and I'm going to put a portal in here. And this is where I'm going to base up basically. And I'll have another portal to my maypole base or whatever. And I can just port back and forth whenever I want. Okay. Now transporting ores and other goods. That's another matter entirely. Okay. You've got a little bit of a way that you can get around here. Don't know if you can get through there. But you want to get back over here. And I, it, again, this is going to be a hell of a journey for you to finish the queen. But the good news is, is this queen to the northwest is decent. There's plenty of resources around here. We've got a potential portal hub to the south in the Black Forest, which enables us kind of a safe space at that point. Uh, so it's not too horrible. But again, the weakness of this seed is the queen location. Let's get some of the ancillary stuff out of the way. We've got the um, troll cave. Um, bees, what you want to do when you first start out is you want to go and gather some bees, queen bees. Okay, just do that. Get them out of the way. Get however many you want. I Usually four is enough for me. By the time I get to the swamp, I, did, I hardly ever even uh, grab the honey anymore because I've got so much of it. But three or four should be fine. You know, just grab them before you run up to your spawn, to your um, maypole. And even along the way, there's plenty, of, so you'd be fine there. Um, Leviathans, if you're abyssal harpoons, there's really nothing here close by. You wanted, you wanted to see something out here. You might be able to squeak by over here and get these three. I don't know, but, you know, if you look way down here, there's a whole bunch. Of, that's actually quite a bit in this little area. Um make a day trip out of it get get it get in a boat and go on an adventure and grab grab some of these for your abyssal harpoon what else can i show you ah the hilda's quest we definitely want to do that so one of the things about the hilda's quest which is nice 
is if you notice up here to the north, as we're moving that way anyways, because we're progressing towards Motor and, and Yagloth, we have all three of the Hildur quests right there. That's actually a really big strength for this seed. So again, we, we, we stumbled when we looked at the queen. However, the Hildur's quests here are exceptionally located. Um, they're not perfect. They're not all right next to each other. But you're not going to have to go all over the map to find them. And on this particular map, it's going to be hard to sail around in anyways. So these locations are actually pretty good for the Hildur's Quest mini-bosses. So that's definitely a positive. Um, what else can I show you here? Let's see if there's the useful runes. We already saw the piggy. Here's that boar stone. Um, other than that, there's really not much to show you. Uh, it's a solid location. I think this would be a pretty good playthrough for a new player, maybe a returning player that wants a challenge. But if you're a returning player, chances are you really want to see, if you're starting over, you want to see that you can speed run and get yourself to Ashlands. This is by no means going to set you up great for Ashlands. It's not going to be horrible, though. But this is a really decent seed to play and experience a good chunk of the game. You're going to have to sail. You're going to have to um, build portals. You're going to have to transport. I mean, this could be a challenging seed, but everything's fairly tied up well until you get to the Mistlands. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments below. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch my content as always. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All this stuff really helps the channel out. I appreciate the support. And I'll talk to you again soon.